Hi everyone, it's author Kelly Cameron here. It's been a while since I've done any videos. I had some surgery back in the spring uh, to repair some hernias, so I've been taking some time off and just concentrating on myself and my family. And I haven't uh, done any more reading of any of the print books that I have, so I have a couple, a few more videos actually that I want to do. Today, I'm going to start with the third book in the Love and Balance series, which is called Tumbling Hearts. And I'll first read the synopsis, and then I'll read a couple of excerpts for you. Anna Forte's heart tumbles head over heels for the head coach in her gym. His gruff demeanor toward her suggests he couldn't care to give her the time of day. Determined to get over her crush, she devises a plan to tell him how she feels and free herself once and for all. Taras Volkov moved to Canada from the Ukraine to further his education and career. He didn't factor into his plan following for Anna, a coach under his command at the gym. When Anna makes her feelings for him known, he chooses to reveal his secret desire for her. As they explore their new personal relationship, they are faced with one crisis after another. Will their hearts tumble together, or will their romance fall short? So this is a section where her stepmom uh, and her dad, which are the characters from book two, um, are talking with her and him about their relationship. The scent of hot chocolate wafted to her, and she cast a glance at the doorway to see her dad carrying a tray of beverages into the room. Thras followed behind, carrying a plate of brownies in his hand. He winked at her, and she blushed, hoping her dad or Shelley wouldn't notice. She was falling faster for Thras than the time she'd slipped off the uneven bars and crashed to the landing mat. You two have a good night last night? Her dad's question brought her back to reality. Crap, so much for avoiding this discussion. She decided to answer honestly. Yes, we did, as a matter of fact. Thanks for asking. Her dad set the beverages on the coffee table. Good. I would have liked to know you weren't coming home. I'm sorry I worried you. And she was. She'd been a pain in the butt in the past, but since Shelley had come into their lives, she'd tried to be more responsible. We were having a good time, and I forgot to call. Her dad stared straight at her. You're not going to get anything else, hun. Shelley cut in, tugging on Jack's hand to get him to sit. I wasn't going to. He grumbled, dropping to the floor beside her. In fact... I'd like to invite Taras to spend Christmas with us if he doesn't have other plans. Anna beamed. He's accepting this relationship. Thanks, Dad. I would be honored to spend the day with all of you. Thank you. Taras set the plate down beside the drinks and plunked down beside Anna. Everyone reached for a mug and snagged a brownie at the same time. Shelley took a bite and brushed a fallen crumb off her lap. All right. I hate to be the one to bring this up, but as your boss, she pointed at the two of them, what will you do when you're back at the gym? Meaning? Anna asked. This news might not go over well with some of the other coaches. Thras popped a second brownie into his mouth and chewed. We don't have to make an announcement, but if people find out, I'm okay with it. What about you, sunshine? Anna sipped her beverage. We won't act all lovey-dovey in front of people. We'll coach and go about our business as usual. If people happen to find out at some point, we'll deal with it. Sounds like a plan. Shelley broke off a piece of brownie and fed it to Evan. At any rate, classes don't start until the new year, so you don't have to worry about it yet. I had to ask, though. Wind howled loudly, and everyone jumped at the sound. Jesus, H, Shelley said. That's quite the storm out there. You better plan to stay the night, Taras. My old room still have blankets, Taras joked, referring to when he'd lived with them for two months upon first moving to the province for his job at the club. Jack snorted. <laughs> I hardly see the point. Taras and Anna shared a look. Her dad rolled his eyes. I don't believe for one second she slept on your couch. 
Anna blushed in embarrassment and gritted her teeth. Dad, it wasn't like that. And even if it was, it's none of your business. You gave me permission to date her, Tara said evenly. I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. My apologies if I worried you. I haven't had to answer to anyone in a long time. It didn't occur to me you'd wonder where she was. Anna sat up straight and squared off with her father. Dad, we had a perfectly lovely dinner, and now you're bringing this up? Exactly, Jack, Shelley put in. She could have called us to let us know where she was, Jack muttered. Exasperated, Anna said, I forgot. I was having fun. Besides, I'm 19. Almost 19, Jack interrupted. Anna growled in exasperation. Seriously? What difference does it make? She cocked her head and looked at Shelley for help. Shelley shrugged and dragged Evan away from the coffee table before he dumped hot chocolate on himself. Uncomfortable silence filled the room. Jack blew out a breath and raked a hand through his close-cropped dark hair. I'm sorry. You're more than welcome to stay here, he said, gesturing at Tras. I'm getting used to the idea of you dating my daughter. I was fine until you didn't bring her home last night. Then it hit me right now when you mentioned where you'd sleep. 